Hey, what's going on everybody? Um, so today, uh, we got something kind of cool. Um, our buddies over at Granatelli Motorsports, uh, they make a bunch of different motor parts for, for all kinds of things. Anyway, they hooked us up with um, something kind of cool for the Mercury Meteor. Um, we'll do a little unboxing now, and then we'll do a little install video just right after that. Um, so let's go take a look and uh, see what they sent us. All right, so this is the unboxing of what Granatelli uh, Motorsports had sent us. So let's take a look and see what we got. So first off, let's see here, we've got some instructions, can't go wrong with that. This will be a dead giveaway of what, uh, what they hooked us up with. So this is the exhaust cutout. Uh, this is a slip-on type, so this is for, uh, I think we're running two and a half. So we got two slip-ons here. You got your exhaust cut out. It's got some nice welds on it. So this is looking really cool. You got your, your gaskets come in the package. You got some of the V-bands here. More V-bands and hardware. We have nice little turn down. Kind of cool, pretty clean, and you got some more gaskets. So all this looks really good, um, good quality stuff for electronics. All right, so we've got some wiring. This is the on-off switch. We've got the fuse tied in on uh, the little. I don't know, brain to this or computers if you want to call it that. We've got some additional wiring for the length. We've got some Granatelli uh, shrink wrap for the wires underneath. We've got some hardware. And then this is the actual motor. So this looks really good. It's super tight. I don't know if you can see. You look in here, look around there. This thing is sealed. I can't see. Yeah, you can't see any daylight through this. So this is made very well. It's pretty small. I like the size of the motor. Um, it's nice and small so that when you get underneath the car, um, you got room to kind of move things around. So this is really cool. The way they have it set up is that this will go on here. And then your cutout, depending on where you want it, you can adjust it whatever way it may be. So. Um, more to come and we get under the car. So again, huge shout out to Granatelli uh, Motorsport for hooking us up. This is super sweet. Um, we're gonna make this meteor a little bit louder. Um, even though it's a Ford 302, nothing big. Um, sounds okay now, but this is definitely gonna wake it up. So um, we are going to start with the install and uh, see how this thing goes.
All right, so this is the beginning of the install. Um, so I kind of mocked everything up here, as you can see. Uh, just kind of put it together um, for a first fit, so when we get underneath, we can see if we have room for this, if we need to change it to a different angle. Um, also, a cool thing is that they have this uh, V-band on here, which can actually, you can kind of, whatever way you need to have this angled, uh, your turn down, uh, you can turn that down and clamp it down. So uh, we'll crawl underneath and see um, how this works out and how much room we have. We may have to pitch this over to a different angle, but uh, we'll find out a little bit more once we crawl underneath. So let's get it started. Okay, so we got the long tube headers that basically jump into a straight pipe. And if you can see, but it go all the way straight back. But there's a nice little spot here with this nice little channel uh, that gives us room for the uh, motor. So what I think we'll end up doing is, I think I'm gonna pick this spot. Um, and then we got the little turn down, which we can angle off to the side to make it a little bit rowdy off to the side. So I think this might be a, a good spot. So um, gonna take some measurements here and then uh, we will get this thing cut and put in. Okay, so I did a little measuring of where I wanna make my cuts. And I'm gonna make a cut, I'm gonna make a cut here. Got that marked, and I've got another mark here. Make that cut. So we're gonna delete this piece here, which in turn, we'll take this, and we will slide it over there, and slide it there, and put us in the perfect position. So, um, we will, we measure twice, I think three times, so we'll get this started, and uh, we'll get this piece cut out. Okay, so we got that piece cut out. Now we will peel that tape off and slide the cutout in. So don't forget to slide your, uh, your clamps on first because that would kind of suck. Got both clamps, get those slid on here. that slides on easy this will go over and we'll lock it down but super easy we'll check it out so this is in we've got it in we've got the clamps on um, just kind of for fitment right now I really like the positioning of it looks like this should work out okay so next we're gonna put uh, all the gaskets on and the motor and uh, once we kind of get it into position we're gonna lock it in okay so now we're gonna go ahead and throw in the motor and the uh, turn down and all the gaskets so let's get under here and uh, get this thing mounted up Got another gasket on this side So this back side is threaded, so which is nice. We can just kind of thread in this. We already got the V V band on there, so when it's time to tighten that, that'll already be on there. Not bad. So right now, for as far as positioning, it's pretty good. I'm gonna turn the whole um, cutout itself. I'm gonna get it a little closer up here. I uh, just want to get a little bit more clearance under the bottom. 
because this is the center point of the car, you know, entering driveways and all that good stuff. So, um, let's see if I can make it a... Yeah. Let me get two hands on this and we'll just kind of adjust the whole thing and turn it up a little bit. Just so it's on a better, kind of a little bit better angle. Just back here. Keeps the original exhaust nice and straight. Get that back in there. Okay. That's good in the back. We are all the way in. I like that. We put the revamp up here so it's clean and out. And we'll have this kick down and out like that. Turn these up. Keep our bolts out of the way. Keep that bolt up, keep that bolt up here. And then this thing's tucked in, it's got a little clearance. It's not gonna move much at all, but. Digging it. I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tighten up these bolts here. Cause I like the positioning of it. Um, if you're gonna tighten them, you gotta have the right size. Good lord. Alright guys, well we got her in, um, we got her all locked down, it looks pretty good, I think it fits in there super nicely, it's not low at all, it's just uh, the motor itself is maybe just an inch lower than the original exhaust, but um, I like the way that it's sitting, super nice. So next we're going to go over to the other side, do the second one for the dual exhaust, and then uh, after that, get this thing wired up and uh, test it out. All right guys, fast forwarding to the second side. So we got the second one in as well, went in super easy. Um, obviously just like the other side. Super stuck, they look super good. Easy to install. All the hardware is uh, substantial. I uh, love the V-band on the turndown, how you can just loosen it and then kind of turn this wherever you want, if you want to go down or to the side, whatever. Um, super easy to install. Uh, just what four cuts and we've got them in. So now we're gonna um, take care of the wiring. Um, that part we won't cover, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, just wiring it to a uh, keyed power switch um, But after we get that taken care of we will fire this up um, do a little uh, sound check to see what it sounds like and uh, See where we go from there Two of the exhaust cutouts it came with two motors um, two switches two brains um, so I don't want to do all that so we're gonna combine these so we're basically going to get rid of one of these um, we're going to take the wires from one of them, which we need to connect underneath the car. Uh, we're going to piggyback off of this other side here so that we have one switch that will control both. So um, I'm going to work on that now and then uh, find a spot that we can locate this in the car. And um, we'll kind of go from there. Alright guys, so we got everything installed. We got both cutouts in. I ran all the electrical. Um, 
found out some kind of cool ways to run it so it's uh, kind of nice and tucked away. Um, I got a little switch installed. I'm going to show you that. I'll take the pan around here. So I got the wires kind of coming up through the floor and they're kind of running through and then up and over into the little panel here. This is my little surprise switch. We'll call it the loud switch. Uh, so that's kind of nice. Got that all dialed in. So the next thing to do is get this thing fired up. But, uh, Hi guys, so uh, me and Blake, we got the um, Granitelli exhaust cutouts on the Mercury. So we're just out here doing a little sound check. So we'll kind of flip this around and uh, let you hear what it sounds like before and after. You wanna yeah. hook it up? Our little secret switch. Turn it off. All right, so that's off, super quiet. Let me see if I can get underneath here. So let's yeah, do it. That's with it closed. There we go. Opened up. I think it woke up. All right, big shout out to Granite Chili Motorsports for the exhaust cutouts. Uh, we're digging it. So, uh, Thank you. If you like this uh, video, <laughs> subscribe. like, subscribe, share. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. Leave any comments about it, about the install or anything, uh, and uh, we'll respond. All right, guys, see ya.